So now y'all come into my kitchen. This is cooking today. Hi, welcome to Cooking Today. Glad you're here. It's football season, and I mean, let me tell you, we are football watching people at my house. I mean, we are. As a matter of fact, Sam Hannon has been known to drag another television from another room in the house and prop it side by side with the living room TV so that he doesn't miss a single play if there are two good games going. And you know, I say, well, why can't we just, you know, flip back and forth between the two? Which was, you know, he gave me this look like that was the most absurd thing I'd ever ask in my life. Because we love football. And what comes with football is dip. Am I right? Dips. We love dips. Sometimes we won't even have a meat, or we might not even have a burger, but we will have game day dips. So today, I thought I would share with you three of our favorite game day dips. They are easy, and they are classic, but they're good. And so I wanted to share those with you today. I've got my Razorback necklaces on. I got my, you know, got all my red going on for, for our favorite team that we just love. So let's start with the dip that needs to bake because it's going to hang out and get cheesy and delicious while we make our other two dips. This is a cheesy roasted corn and red pepper bake. It is so good. It's like a hot, cheesy, messy, creamy, awesome dip that you get with those corn chips that are scoops so you can get tons. Not one where you go like this like this. It's one of those. It's the one that you want to scoop and you want to get a big old bite of it. And what we started with was a couple of tablespoons of butter and then I did half of a red onion. If you have yellow onion or white onion, you can use it. The red onion is really just so pretty in this dip because it kind of looks fiesta and has all kinds of great colors. So while our red onion is sauteing just a little bit. We don't want them to, to caramelize. We just want them to get nice and tender. I am going to drain. I've already worked on it, but I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit more. This is a 12 ounce jar of roasted red peppers. You can roast your own if you want to go to the trouble, but I wouldn't if I were you. These are really good and simple. I've already got the ones that are cut into strips. But I'm going to go ahead and do a rough chop on these so that they're a little bit more bite-sized and not, not big, long strips. Again, with the scoop. You know, we want to be able to scoop one up on a really yummy corn chip. And then these, rough chopped, are just going to go right in here with our red onions that smell delicious. Gosh, they get such a pretty color. Okay, so I've drained most of the liquid out of these. I'm just going to let the rest of it kind of fall on my board, and then I'll just sop it up. It's really hard to get all of the liquid out of these roasted red peppers, so just do your best. But we don't want this dip to be soupy. We want it to be really nice and thick and good. Okay? So there's that. And this is why I cook right next to my sink. I sweep everything right back off into the sink. Isn't that the best? That's why we work right here. Okay, so we're going to give these a little stir. Mm -mm -mm. The color already, that purple and that red is absolutely beautiful. Then I have a couple of cloves of garlic that I've chopped. A pretty nice little tiny mince if you can. Just spend a little extra time going over your garlic so you have a little bite. And then we're going to stir that. And you know, you only stir garlic until it really becomes fragrant. You don't want to let it go too long or it will burn. Oh, adding a little flavor, sauteing, adding a little flavor, sauteing. It really smells fantastic, y'all. Then, look how simple this is. I'm going to drain just the littlest liquid off of the top of two jars or two cans of chopped green chilies. And then I'm going to turn my heat up. That's a little bit loud, that drop. <laughs> Sorry about that. I just sometimes forget that y'all are really in here, and I just, you know, do what I do. And that's what I would, that's what I would do at home is just drop those in. Oh, this color, this color. So we have red and purple and green. It's beautiful. So I've turned my heat up just a little bit on my skillet here because 
as you cook and saute this a little bit, that liquid from the red peppers and some of that extra liquid from the green chilies is gonna kinda cook out, okay? Then what we have for the creamy part that is just the best, three of the best things God ever made, that sounds like my mom, she would say that, a whole block of cream cheese, some real mayonnaise, and some whole sour cream. It's game day. This is not the time, in my opinion, to skimp on ingredients and make this light. Why do that? You're gonna be, you're gonna be jumping up and down and cheering real loud and getting excited. And so there's not any reason to skimp. You're gonna, you're gonna burn your calories so you don't have to worry about it. So we're gonna let these cook down and then we're gonna add in our cream cheese, our mayonnaise and our sour cream. And then when we get back, we're gonna finish it up, put it in a baking dish and get ready to make another delicious game day dip. This is cooking today. Welcome back to Cooking Today, making three of my favorite game day dips because we love football season. We love all sports, so, you know, we don't really choose any of the others, you know, over any of the others. We like them all. But, so, I mean, if sports are on, we make a dip. It's just kind of how we do things around here. But we definitely do love football when we really, we really get into it. Um, so I'm making one of my favorites. Today is this really good roasted red pepper and cheesy kind of corn baked dip. So many great things that we're putting in here. We did some sauteed onions and garlic and roasted red peppers and got those down in here in our skillet. And then I added in a block of cream cheese and I stirred in a little mayonnaise, a little sour cream. Took that off the heat and now I'm just mixing that in. So it's nice and creamy. You can do a pinch of salt and pepper. You could even throw in cumin in here if you wanted to at this point. Then we have Six cups of corn. So this is a, I get frozen corn and then let it just kind of partially thaw just a little bit. And we mix this in. Doesn't that look good? Mix this in, mix this in, and then waiting in the wings. I hope my dish is big enough. I've never actually made it in that dish. I believe it is. We'll find out, won't we? <laughs> we will find out. So I'm mixing in my corn. It smells fantastic. And then, y'all, we got some cheese going on, lots of it. I have two whole cups of cheddar. <laughs> you know, you think a recipe sounds really great, and then you start to tell people how much, you know, cheese or cream is in it, and then you go, gosh, this is, this is kind of a, a full fat dip, isn't it? <laughs> Well, good, you're gonna love it. And then I do about a cup of Monterey Jack in there and I save the other cup of it so that we can put it on top for a little browning and cheesiness. So I just get in my big old skillet here and get this mixed in really, really well. And then I have greased um, a nine by 13 casserole dish. And we're about to pour this in there. And I have the oven set to 350. And then this will bake for 20 minutes, 25 minutes or so. And it'll be bubbly and gorgeous. And the color is awesome. And it is something else. Okay. Oh, look at that. This may not be the best. This may not be pretty, but bear with me. Okay. Oh, good. It's slight. Oh. It's sliding like a whole avalanche of corn and cheese. So that's what I was afraid of is that it might stick. Gosh, I hate to waste that, but you gotta do what you gotta do. So I'm spreading it. It's fitting in our mind nine by 13. So if you, in case you wonder, you can fit it in a cake plate like this. Okay, spreading it down. Look at the color. Didn't I tell you it was so pretty? Oh, did I mention it or was I just doing it? That I added in some jalapenos. I had some jarred chopped jalapenos for a little bit of heat, and I just kind of drained out a couple of tablespoons of it and put it in there. I don't think I said it. Did I say it? Timmy said I didn't say it. I just did it. Oh, I hate to waste that, but I'm going to. I'm going to sit it right there. I may eat that later. Um, casserole dish. Then all you got to do on the top, let's do our cheese. We're going to do our cheese on the top. One more little cup. Okay. Look at that big glob, I need to get that up. 
And then I have some cumin, and I'm just going to take my fingers. You can do whatever you've got. If you have a little packet of taco seasoning and you want to do taco seasoning on the top, do that. If you want to do paprika, chili powder, whatever you've got. It's for just a little nod to Mexican, you know, kind of smokiness flavor that you want on the top. And it just makes it pretty. It gives it a little speckle of color when it bakes. That's it. 20, 25 minutes or so in a 350 degree oven. So we probably should have set our timer, but we'll just have to eyeball it. Now, we are going to make my everyday salsa. I call it everyday salsa because we could eat it every day. And that's really creative. That's a real creative title for that dip. But it is the truth. My kids, we just, they just ask for it. They can't find, we can't find one necessarily that's jarred that they like as much. And it's simple and it's super fresh and it's easy. And it all goes in a blender and this is all there is to it. Ready? I have one big 28 ounce can of the full plum tomatoes. They come in a lot of tomato-y sauce. So I literally run water down inside there to get as much of that thick tomato paste and gravy off of there and then drain as much of that liquid off because we don't want it to taste like spaghetti sauce. And that's what it might end up tasting like if you didn't drain off all of that really thick tomato gravy. Then, do they call it gravy sauce? Looks like great. It looks like tomato gravy. It's that thick. Then I have two cans of tomatoes with green chilies. There are several brands available now at your grocery store. Then I'm throwing in an extra little can of green chilies. We're going to throw in a couple of tablespoons of these. Well, and this is up to you, the diced jalapenos. I, I hesitated because I didn't want it to get too hot for you. The jalapenos are pretty optional. And then I'm adding in my garlic. This is so typical. We've done it. Some garlic, some lime, some cilantro, easy stuff, and we're going to whir it up in our blender. So we'll finish working on that. When we come back, we're going to make our favorite white queso blanco. Delicious. Come back. This is cooking today. Hi, welcome back to Cooking Today. We're doing my family's favorite game day dips for all your watch parties and your tailgating and just about any other reason. We love dips. They're one of our favorites. So we have a baked corn dip that's in the oven that has corn and roasted red peppers and green chilies and gobs of cheese and cream cheese and good stuff in it that's baking in the oven. We have made, we've put everything in one big blender that goes in our salsa. We have canned tomatoes, some diced tomatoes with green chilies, have a purple onion in here. You can use white, you can use a shallot, doesn't matter. You just want to get a little onion in there. We've got some jalapenos and some cilantro and some lime juice. You name it, it's in here, it's in our recipe. Everything in that recipe, the instruction line is this long. Put it all in a blender and whir it up. That's all that it takes. So, we've got it on our blender. We're going to give it a whir. And we're going to call it a day. Isn't that super simple? Then, what we're going to do is swap this out because we're going to bring our burner back to make our homemade queso that my family absolutely loves. It's a queso blanco. It's really simple. I have made it before on this show. Thank you. And put it on our Stephen special. Do you, have you have y'all made that one? It was one that we got a lot of interest in. Um, it's really, really good. And that so, this, uh, queso blanco goes on top of that chicken. So all I'm doing with this salsa is transferring it into a jar with a lid. And right now, the color of this salsa is real orangey, but as it sits in the refrigerator, it'll develop flavor, and it gets this really pretty color. It just gets redder all together. And so you do want to let that sit in the fridge. So we'll do that in a little bit, okay? Now, let's make queso. You can't have a game day without queso. I don't know about your house, but I'm serious. My family would go into an utter uproar if we didn't have queso. As a, 
As a matter of fact, last night when I was talking to Sam about, you know, cooking today and what recipes I was making, I said, yeah, I'm going to do game day dips. And he said, queso, right? And I said, well, of course. <laughs> because it's just, you know, it's practically biblical, if you ask me. Like, you just have to have it. Um, it's a non-negotiable. So, this queso was a little bit different. Of course, there's a regular old, you know, Southern, Southern football watching, you know, Rotel cheese dip that we all kind of know. But this one's just a little bit different. Similar, but different, really good. Okay, swirled a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of my pan here. And we're gonna get, um, you can do a shallot if you want. I did half of a yellow onion. We don't want it to be supremely oniony, but we do want there to be a little bit of that good flavor in it. So I'm giving that a little tiny spin, and those are just gonna sizzle a little bit. Okay? Yep, starting to sizzle. All right. Then this is very, this feels very countercultural. What we have is we have some of those diced tomatoes with green chilies, but we're not gonna use the tomatoes in them, we're just gonna use the juice because we want the flavor, but not the red. We're making a queso blanco, so it wouldn't be queso blanco if it had big chunks of red in it, right? So that would be, what is that? What would that be? Queso, what's the word for green? Come on now. Verde, verde. it would be queso verde, kind of. Thank you, Timmy's, you know, the help. Um, and so anyway, we're gonna not use, oh, not green, red. We would have red. Anyway, don't, don't count on us to, to know or be creative. <laughs> we just have to do what we know. We don't want the red in our queso. We want the juice only. So we're stirring these up, letting them get a little bit tender. Then we're gonna add just the juice of those tomatoes. And I'm taking a little shortcut today with some already chopped garlic. And I'm gonna add these in with my sauteed onions. And you know, garlic will burn, so you don't want to do it too quick. You know, I mean, you don't want to let it go too, too long. You want to get liquid on it pretty quick. So I just did about a heaping teaspoon or so of my garlic. It smells good already. And we're stirring it around a little bit. And again, stir real quick on your garlic. And now we're adding in our liquid, okay? Not the tomatoes. We want that flavor. You can save those tomatoes, put them in an airtight container or something like that and use them in, you know, in anything else. Gosh, don't you all use those tomatoes like crazy? So I'm going to squeeze the daylights out of it to get all that liquid out. Save those for later. Okay. Mmm. We love Mexican food. Like everything in this kitchen today, all of these dips are such a nod to Mexican. Just so good. Then I have two cups of whole milk that I'm pouring in here. And what we want to do is let this come up to a little bit of a simmer so it's nice and warm. And then we're going to slowly melt in a pound of this queso blanco cheese. So when we come back, we're going to finish this. We're going to check on our corn. We've got our salsa that's going to be beautiful. And we're going to have game day dips. I'll be stirring. Come back. This is cooking today. Welcome back. We are finishing up our family's three favorite game day dips. Won't those be great for your fall, for your game watching? We have our homemade salsa that we've made that we've jarred and we're letting it rest and develop some great color, stored in the fridge for a couple of days. This is a great gift to give as, ma as a matter of fact, like if you're having people over or you're running over to somebody's house and you want to show up with a little something, take them some salsa. Everybody loves salsa. We have our queso. Let's do our queso. We sauteed our onions and our garlic, added in the juice of our chopped tomatoes with green chilies, and then we stirred in some milk and got that, that sauce, just that the liquid, really nice and warm so that we could drop in our pound of that queso loaf, that queso blanco, 
and let that melt down. And then all we're going to do to this is throw in a couple of tablespoons of these chopped, these jarred, this little shortcut, these jarred jalapenos with some of their juice. There's our little bit of green in our queso blanco. And then finally, y'all, oh, stir that up. That looks so good. We have our corn dip that we baked. We baked this corn dip down in the oven. We let it get nice and brown and beautiful on the top. And then to serve this, I do a little bit of chopped green onions around the top. And if I've got it, I top it with some crumbled bacon because why in the world wouldn't we? This is delicious corn chips, tortilla chips, whatever you've got, serve it up. Spoon a little of this on top of a hot dog or a burger. It's going to knock your socks off, y'all. I hope that you will enjoy your team and your game watching parties. Go hogs and try these recipes at home and love them all. This is cooking today.